Well, good morning everyone. Unfortunately, today was supposed to be our Sitka Alaska today, but we are still out here on the sea. Um, we're not going to be making port today. We have another day at sea. We are just heading right to Ketchikan because it was too unsafe to dock in Sitka. They were having 15 to 20 foot uh, waves, which, you know, I'm glad they did not take us through those because the other day we had 12 foot and we were pretty bad. We are sailing through about 10 to 12 foot waves again right now. Wow, that was a really big one. Um, but we're only through this for about three hours versus the other day we were having to deal with this for over 24 hours. So I took medicine a little bit ago and we should be okay. Again, it's only three hours and then we cruise back into the safety of a channel as we cruise on back down to Ketchikan. So today, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna bring you guys. If I'm feeling okay, I'm gonna bring you a cruise ship tour. We're gonna do um, possibly like what I packed for Alaska, some tips we have on visiting Alaska and yeah. Yeah, but I think it's all alcohol. I'm not sure what it is. Perfect. Even better. It's so pretty, too. This is really good. I'm genuinely very shocked right now because I don't even drink my tea. For my two favorite drinks. For my two favorite drinks. First one is a drink that's in front of me. First one is a drink that's in front of me. The second one is a drink that is free. The second one is a drink that is free. Very strong. All just straight whiskey. Oh wow. Oh, that's not that bad. <laughs> that settles down the whiskey a lot. Whatever they mix it with. It's pretty good. I'm not a whiskey fan, but that's that's pretty good. Raise our glasses to our very good health. To our very good health. May we all live. May we all, May we all live. live. As old as our jokes. As old as our jokes. <laughs> Okay, so he's currently making a candy apple cosmopolitan, which sounds just as good. It's served with green liqueur, and he said it's this one's going to be regular vodka. If I remember right, I think this pink Cosmo was made with orange liqueur. I don't know. All right, well, welcome back everyone to the channel. In today's vlog, we're gonna kind of do an overview of life at sea here on our Alaska cruise. We actually had more at sea days than planned, so I'm gonna kind of combine a lot of the footage I've been taking into one to just give you guys a general overview of life on board here, the new Amsterdam. We are going to start with a cruise ship tour. I'm gonna work into some of the cruise activities, what I packed for Alaska, um, just things like that, kind of a Alaska cruise vlog today. So let's go tour the ship. Okay, so of course we are going to start on deck one here. Deck one, you may come to somewhat on the cruise, but this is mostly your guest services, your future cruise planning, and then other staterooms. So there's not too, too much here on deck one, but if you do need guest services, you do need to know that this is where it is down here on deck one. And also if you're planning on uh, doing a future cruise, you can talk with the people here. Actually, I do want to let you guys know too, the future cruises on board is great because even if you use a travel agent like myself to book one of these cruises, you can still book your next cruise on the cruise ship and they're still gonna list me as a travel agent to be able to help you all plan your perfect itinerary and trip from here on out. All right, we're now gonna go ahead and make our way to deck number two, which is where we have spent a lot of time on this cruise and there is a lot of action happening. Okay, on deck two, the very first thing you're going to come across at the very, very front of the ship, so very, very front bow, part of the ship. It's going to be your main stage. We've spent a lot of time here every single evening watching new shows. They had magicians, they had dance stuff, they had Alaska talks, 
whole bunch of stuff going on at the main stage. Once you make your way out of there, you are going to come across the casino. It is a little bit smaller, but there's always been plenty of room there. And you're also going to have the billboard area. Now this is where you're gonna have dueling pianos, you're gonna have trivia games and things like that. All right, so walking past the casino on the right, you're gonna come across the gallery bar. This is a great place to just kind of sit and chill out. And then on the left, you're going to make your way down and you're going to hit BB King's Blues Bar, which has been so much fun to go to during this, uh, during the cruise. They have like live music all the time and comedy. It's, it's just been a blast there. All right, making our way out of the BB King's Blues Club area and then back through the mid part of the ship where we're heading to the back right now, you're then going to pass the Pinnacle Grill. Now this is a signature dining experience, so it does cost extra on top of the cruise itself, but I've heard it's very, very good food. Then walking next to the Pinnacle Grill, so here's the Pinnacle Grill over here, we do have the Pinnacle Bar where anyone is free to come over and enjoy a drink. All right, walking past the Pinnacle Bar, we are now into the art gallery before we get to the Lincoln Center stage where they do a bunch of music for you guys. All right, right behind the Pinnacle Bar is the Explorer's Lounge and the Digital Workshop. And finally, you are then going to end at the back of the ship at the main dining room, which is usually open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Check your timesheet that they give you the day before for all those hours. Okay, since the main dining room and the main stage uh, area are going to both be two floors each, deck three, those are gonna be the same. The main stage is going to be in the very front, dining room in the very back. Now also on deck three is going to be a full uh, walkway around the entire ship which is really nice so if you want to get out and relax take a nice stroll around the entire ship you can do that on deck three you're also going to find shops here the photo gallery and the ocean bar okay so in the shops you're going to have jewelry watches perfume um souvenir uh stuff from the ship and from alaska and some other things it's great they have a lot of shopping on board which is really cool so decks four five six seven and eight are all going to be more cabins so there's not really anything going on on those so we are then going to head to deck nine which is another one we've spent a lot of time on the two biggest decks we've been on are two and nine okay so deck nine is the lido deck and there's a lot going on here you do have the lido market which is where we have eaten many breakfast lunch and dinners you do have the greenhouse spa you have swimming you have dive in you have the new york pizza so Deck nine, there's a lot to see and do here. Let's go check it out. All right, so we are now on the very back deck, uh, the sea view pool on deck nine. This is where we actually stood to watch us disembark from Seattle. And this is just a great place. They do have an outdoor pool out here. This is where you're gonna find that New York pizza. This is also a smoking section. So if you need that, that is out here. But deck nine on the back deck is absolutely beautiful. And it is a gorgeous day outside today. Up over here from the back side of the Lido deck, you do see the sports court. I believe that is a basketball court. We haven't been up there, um, but it's great for the kids to use that. And then also on deck 10, it's Club HAL, Club Holland, for the kids to enjoy too, if you bring them on board. All right, let's go ahead and walk back in. We're gonna be entering the Lido Market. Like I said, ooh, we've spent a lot of time here um, eating a lot of food <laughs> because they are open often. And they're open late at night, early in the morning. So we have been spending tons of time in the Lido Market and just beautiful views too. Out the windows here, which I love, but as we walk through the Lido Market, we're gonna come out to another pool. Here you're gonna find the dive-in bar. Again, you do have another pool area over here. This is a retractable roof too, so when the weather's nice, they will open that up. And so yeah, it's just another really nice area to kind of hang out and enjoy the pool and enjoy the beautiful scenery. It is a gorgeous day outside. <laughs> and all the way to the back here, well, these are the cabanas, you can rent these out. And then all the way in the back is going to be the spa, which I did get a massage at and it was very nice. I highly recommend it. They have ping pong tables over here, which have been fun. I did play a few games of that as well. And then as you make a right, we are going to find the spa area. All right, I made my way back out to the back deck. Apparently there's something over here. Let's see what we can see. But this has been a great wildlife viewing area ever since we started the cruise over here. There oh is. yeah, there yeah. he is. Oh. Wow. Oh. Pretty. Still 
Yeah, Chris Dow's right over there. There it is. Okay, we now walked all the way to the front of the ship where we are taking the elevator up to deck 11 because that is where the Explorations Cafe and Crow's Nest is, but you can only access it from the very front of the ship elevators. Want to cruise with me to Alaska? I am hosting an Alaska cruise on Holland America Line in July of 2023, including reduced fares, onboard credit, in-cabin gifts, and much more. All of this is only available if you book with us here at Main Street and Beyond Travel Company. And for more information, please use the links in the description in the video below or email Shannon at MainStreetAndBeyondTravel.com. I look forward to meeting and hosting you in Alaska soon.